Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards. And I've got this really quick, fabulous project to share with you today using our beautiful Summer Blooms on the Edge die. So we're going to be using that to create a shaped card blank. We're also going to be using the Summer Blooms element to show you how to build up your 3D flowers. So if you'd like to craft along with me with this project, you're going to need the Dies by Chloe Summer Blooms on the Edge die, which I've got here. You're also going to need the Summer Blooms Elements die. So this is a big set of flowers that are going to contain different sizes so that you can use for your flower shaping. And I've already gone ahead and die cut some of those out. You're also going to need our beautiful raspberry foiled paper pad. So this is so luxurious. It's got beautiful gold foiling detail on there. And it's fabulous for using for your matting and layering, but also using for your flowers too. You're also going to need some gold mirror card. You're going to need some pink ribbon and a little pink bow, okay, some crystals, you're going to be using our sparklicious glitters in these gorgeous colours. So we're going to be using grasshopper which is a beautiful bright green and we're also going to be using pink champagne which is a lovely pale pink chunky glitter. We're also going to be using a little bit of heat embossing to do a sentiment, so we're going to be using the WOW metallic gold sparkle embossing glitter. We're going to need a clear embossing ink pad. So the one that I'm going to use is WOW, the um, embossing pad, clear ultra slow drying. So this is brilliant for holding your embossing powder. It's really going to grab that embossing powder and make it stick. You're going to need a sentiment stamp. I've chosen just for you. This is from the Stamps by Chloe Cele um, Celebrate Sentiments Clear Stamp Collection. And you are also going to need a little bit of white card to stamp that on. I would recommend that you use an um, anti-static bag for when we're embossing and I'll explain that a little bit further into the video. Also going to need some little bling stones. These can be any colour because I'm going to show you how to glitter these up like I have done with these ones here. Okay then. So I think that we are ready to get started. So I'll just move these out of the way and then um, we'll get going. So we're going to do a little bit of die cutting first. You do need a die cutting machine for this project as well. So we're going to take our 5 by 7 card blank to start with and we're going to use the on the edge die. So this die comes in three pieces. You've got two outer cutting sides, which you can see here, and you've got the fabulous panel detail in the middle as well. So what that means is you can use the panel on its own to cut into your card to create like a topper and then you can build up around it. You can use it with either of the outer cutting edges to um, be able to cut down the side of your card to create a beautiful shaped card blank. You can use both of these edges together to then create a standalone topper. So that's going to cut a beautiful topper shaped image out for your project as well. So you can use this die in a lot of different ways. We are going to use one of the edging dies and also the central panel today. So I'm just going to remove that one. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to tape this into place on my card blank. So I'm just lining this up down the side as you can see. So that's my panel die in place and then I'm going to take my edge die and just pop that next to it here like so. We're going to just tape this down. Okay, and that's going to hold that all nicely into place. So I'm using a Gemini die cutting machine. I'm actually using the A4 one today. So for me, I'm just going to open my card out and run it through my die cutting machine. If you're using one of the smaller machines, what you can do is you can fold the card back on itself and then run that through your machine. And what that's going to do is it's going to enable you to um, to die cut your the edge from your card. What you might find with that is you'll get an imprint of the die on the back of your card. If you get that, just pop a piece of patterned paper over it. You can always decorate it to hide it. Okay then, so we're going to quickly run this through our die cutting machine. So I've got my Gemini sandwich already here. I'm just going to place my card in and I'm going to run that through my machine. So these dies will work on any of the machines that you may already have at home, such as your... Um, your Gemini, your Grand Calibre, your Big Shot Plus, any of those machines these are going to work with. They're all thin metal dies, so they're going to work absolutely perfectly. Okay, so you can then see how that's cut out perfectly from the side of our card. Just flip that over. We're going to remove our low tack tape from the side here. Okay, and then we're going to remove our die. So we're going to take this away like so okay and that has then cut that on the side of our card now what i'm going to do is take my scissors and i'm going to cut away 
just at the bottom here and at the top up here as well. So you are then going to have a fabulous little freestanding card like so. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in with a little bit of glitter onto those fabulous leaves. So this die cuts out but stays in the card. So what that means is all of these little leaf elements and the flowers, of course, you can lift up to create a 3D effect to make them pop. So we're just going to work our way around. Like so, lifting these leaves up. And then we're going to go in with some dry clear glue. So we're going to use the glue. And we're just going to glue over the leaves like so. I'm not being too careful in how I do this. We're just kind of working our way around and infilling the leaves. Like so. And by using this fabulous dries clear glue with the fine tip metal applicator, what that means is it um, allows you to get into all of the detail on the glue on the on the project so because this glue is coming out really finely from the tip it's really really easy just to get in there and make sure you've got glue on all of the little detailed areas of your project so as you can see we can just work around like so in filling this in with some glue Okay, and we're just going to fill this in. And then we're going to take a little bit of our fabulous sparklicious glitter over the top. So the colour that I'm going to be using is grasshopper, which is one of our beautiful sparklicious glitters. What you can do as well is if you've got a piece of paper that you're working on, some scrap paper, give it a little dust with an anti-static bag. And then when you pop your glitter on, it's not going to stick too much to your paper. So I'm going to use a little bit of grasshopper here. And we're just going to sprinkle this over where we've got the glue. Like so. So you can see how pretty that then looks on the, on the detail there. Okay. So I'm going to pop that to one side. I'm going to pop my glue back into the jar. And then we're going to do a little bit of matting and layering to start and build our card up. So we're going to just take in our card blanket. Now, what I would normally do if I was kind of making this properly at home is I would just allow that glue a little bit of time to dry. But obviously we haven't kind of got that luxury today. So we're going to dive in straight in there with our matting and layering. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of our gorgeous raspberry pink foiled paper. And this has got the gold dots all on. And I've just cut a piece of that down to fit in the inside of my card and I've just cut a piece of gold mirror card as well to map that onto. So I'm going to use my dry clear glue just to stick these together like so and what's so great about using this dry clear glue for your matting and layering as well is it just gives you that little bit of time to kind of Maneuver your card round, make sure you've got it straight because I am terrible for sticking things on straight to my cards. Okay, we're going to place that down and just pop that into our card. I'm just making sure I've kind of got a nice even border around the edge there. You can see how that's then in place. I've then got a little strip of that beautiful paper and a strip of the mirror card that I've cut. And I'm going to stick those together. And these are just going to go down the side here. Now, what you might find is, and I've found that with this one, you might just need to use your guillotine just to take a tiny little bit off, off the strip. Um, just because, obviously, depending on where you position your die, is very much going to depend on how much of a border that you have so let me just pop these two together I'm just a tiny bit more off the pink this is the thing with crafting you see it's all kind of a little bit of trial and error and we all learn as we go along so those two are going to map together like so okay then we'll get those stuck into our card so again we are going to use our dry clear glue just to stick these two pieces together
like so. So you can just layer these up. Okay, as you can see here. Then I'm going to flip that over and we're going to just pop our um, ribbon. We're going to wrap that around the, the back. So I'm going to use a little bit of double sided tape on here. So just take a little bit of tape. We're going to run that down the middle there. Like so. Take the back off. And then we are going to take our ribbon. We're going to wrap that all the way. We're going to wrap it around the centre. Like so. I've done mine slightly off centre. Be a little bit jaunty this one. So you can see that there. Then we're going to stick that onto the side of our card blank. So again, just a little bit of dry clear glue. If you wanted, of course, you could use your double-sided tape as well. It's just personal preference, really, for your matting and layering. So we're going to pop that onto here. Like so. And you can just see how that's all starting to come together really nicely now. So what I've done is I've taken my Summer Blooms Elements die and I've die cut out three of the large flowers from the beautiful um, dotty patterned paper. So this is like a, a brighter pink patterned paper that you get in the paper pad. So I've die cut three of those out. Then I've taken the medium size die and I've die cut six of these out again from that same hot pink paper from the paper pad. So these are going to layer up perfectly on top of the border. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to stick one flat under here. So that's going to go onto there like so. Okay. Then we're going to do the same with the smaller ones. So again, I'm just going in with my dry clear glue. And you can see how the glue with the tip, using the two together, works perfectly to enable you to glue these with perfect precision. Okay, and then we're going to do exactly the same. The top here. That's going to go onto there like so so you can see how that's all starting to come really nicely together i'm going to pop that to one side to dry and while that's drying for a couple of moments i'm just going to show you how to shape the flowers so what i do is i hold the flower in the middle between my index finger and thumb and then i'm just going to pinch so you can shape these in any way that you want really but you can see how just by pinching around i'm kind of creating like a little valley fold down the center so that's the first one done we're going to do exactly the same on this one just working round like so. It really is this easy. So all I'm doing is placing my middle finger and my thumb either side of the petal and then popping my index finger in the centre and just squishing them together. So I'm going to do this on all of these little flowers. And you can see how brilliantly these are going to work on all of your projects. So I'm just going to work round like so, pinching these petals to create the dimension on the flowers. And you can just see how you can work around with these. Okay, I always hold the center of the flower though, just to make sure that you're kind of not too rough so that you're not going to pull the petals off. Okay, so then you can just see how that's then come nicely together. We're going to grab in our card blank now and we're just going to lift up those leaves. Again, I'm being a little bit careful because we need to remember that that glue is still wet. If I was at home, I'd have just allowed it a little bit of dry in time just to make sure that that's all nicely dried. Okay, you can also start to lift your flowers up now. Like so, so you can see how these are coming away from the side of the card there. Okay, so you can see how fabulously that then looks. If I just hold that up, you can see how you've got all of that dimension there. Okay, and then you've got that opening on your card. Okay, so what we're going to do now is layer two of these flowers together and then stick them down. So we're going to pop a blob of glue in the middle. So we are literally only gluing the centres of the flowers. We're going to pinch the petals up towards the top. And then we're going to just place those down like so. So we're going to do this with all of the layers on this beautiful flower. So what I do is pull the petals right up so you're like creating a little bud. And then just place that down. Okay. 
like so so you can see the depth and the dimension that we are starting to build now on those flowers but it's so so easy to do so we're going to continue on we're going to do exactly the same with the smaller flowers pinch those petals up towards the center and then place those down so you can just see how we are working around and building this beautiful design up like so and then we're going to do the same with these little ones at the top and just build these up and I'm just going to grab an embossing tool here just to kind of help me squish that down just in the middle okay so you can give that glue a little bit of time just to grab make sure those are nicely pressed down so if i bring that up now look at the depth and dimension that we've built on those flowers they look absolutely gorgeous but it's so easy to do we're not doing any difficult techniques here it's all really really easy things okay so i want to show you how to create some little glittery centers for your flowers now so we're going to take a bling stone and mine aren't self-adhesive so basically what I tend to do is just pop them onto glue dots. Um, so I've just taken one, this can be any colour, mine happen to be pink because believe it or not I had a load of pink ones in my craft room. What you're then going to do is take your dry clear glue and literally just glitter over the top. So we're just popping this glue directly on top of the bling stone. And then we're going to take that fabulous sparklicious glitter. So the colour that we are using is pink champagne. And just let me show you this. It is absolutely divine. Look at all of the colours that you've got in there. It is gorgeous. So then when we sprinkle that over and tap it off, that's going to stick to the little bling storm, okay? But when that dries, you're going to get like raised 3D glittery dots, which are what I've already done at home. So if I bring these ones in, these are nice and dry. So we're going to pop these into the middle of the flowers. Okay, so I'm going to just pop this glitter back into the jar. Again, a little shimmy in there. Okay. We're going to just bring our card in and we're going to pop our bling stones into the centres of these flowers. So the first one's going in there. The next one into the middle. And the one after that. Oh, my little glue dots come off the back. Let me see if I've got another glue dot somewhere. There we go. And this one. Go into the middle of there. Okay, so if I bring those in, can you see how we've got the bling in the middle of those flowers there now? Okay, it just works so, so well. So what we are now going to do is we're going to stamp and emboss a little sentiment to go on this card. So I've chosen just for you, which is from the Stamps by Chloe Celebrate Sentiment Stamp Collection. I'm then going to take in a piece of white card. I'm going to give that a little dust with an anti-static bag going to grab in my wow clear embossing ink pad which is amazing by the way it is fabulous and um, for all of your embossing techniques we're going to take our stamp and we're going to ink it up like so and then we're going to place that down and press just onto our project here okay i'm going to lift that off so i don't know whether you'll very faintly be able to see that at home or not we're going to take our embossing powder and sprinkle it over and you can see how that's clung perfectly to the sentiment there we're going to pop our excess powder straight back into the jar and then we're going to grab in a heat gun to heat this up i'm just going to give my desk a little dust because i've got glitter and all sorts everywhere so we'll just give that a little dust down before we start heating so we're going to use our heat gun now so you're going to hold your heat gun still until you see that powder start to melt and change. So what I'm doing is holding the heat gun. And as soon as I see this powder go from like a brownie colour to a beautiful bright sparkling gold, I'm just going to move the heat gun over the image. So what we're doing is we're kind of chasing the powder. Okay, so then if I hold that up, 
you can just see how we've got that beautiful luxurious embossed sentiment there ready to go on our project so what we are going to do now is we're going to take our guillotine and we're just going to trim this down so i'm just going to trim around the edge So, and when we take that out we've got our little sentiment tag all trimmed down what i'm also going to do is just take my scissors because i just like to do this when i'm popping a ribbon on i just take the corners off just to create like a tag shape then we're going to stick that onto our project just using a foam pad so i'm going to kind of tuck it in so it's hanging down like so so i'll just cut my foam pads in half because mine are quite large We'll whip the backs off of those just lift up the leaves and then just tuck that in there so you can see how that's starting to come together now we're going to use a glue dot just to stick our bow on so i've just pre-tied just a little plain bow to go on there i'm going to add a little bling stone in the middle because i personally don't like to see the knots on my bows so i always add a little bling in the middle Okay, and then what you can do if you want to as well is go in with some little crystals. So I've chosen the hot pink ones because these are nice and vibrant and bright. So I'm going to add three dots of blue in the top and bottom corner there. And then I'm just going to go in with my crystals and just add these on. This is just a sticky pickup pencil that I'm using. To do this and um, one of the ladies that comes in the shop actually brought this in for me <laughs> but if you haven't got one of these at home you could use a piece of dried spaghetti then if you just dampen the end it it'll stick to the jewels so that would then be your beautiful finished project so we've created this fabulous on the edge card but so so quickly and easily and you can just see how all of the different elements come together so I really hope that you've enjoyed today's tutorial. You can, of course, check out all the products on the website, which is www.chloescreativecards.co.uk. We've also got a fabulous blog on there where I'm posting lots of inspiration, step-by-step -step instructions. There is all sorts upon the blog. If you'd like to give us a follow, of course you can do. You can follow us on YouTube. Our channel is Chloe's Creative Cards. If you'd like to follow us on Facebook, which is a fabulous place to follow us because we're always posting inspiration on there and we also host lives regularly too, you can hop over to Chloe's Creative Cards and give us a like. And if you're on Instagram, we post daily inspiration on Instagram. So if you would like to have a little look on there, again, it's Chloe's Creative Cards. Really easy to remember. And of course, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do too. So thank you for joining me today and hopefully I'll see you again very soon.